Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of Cozy Rock's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2005. The Cozy Rock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a package that performs a lookup which requires multiple columns to match in order to find the proper row. I use Cozy Rock Script Plus and Lookup Plus components to do this. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. Now here are the basic requirements of our package. We're going to be looking up values from multiple reference tables. We actually have two of them. And based on a column called destination country, we're going to look up the ID and the tax rate for that country. And then from another reference table, we're going to look up the price of the commodity based on both the commodity name and the date. And if we have an error with any of the rows, because the key that we're using to do the lookup is either null or there's no match, then we want to put a certain value in the field or in the column for the value we would have looked up from that reference table. So we'd put a zero if it was null, and we'll put a negative one if there was no match. And on our website, in the Lookup Plus documentation, we do show you all of the steps in order to configure a package like what I'm going to show you now. In this package, we're going to actually work with one of the reference tables first instead of our source data. And so we're working with the commodities by date table. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to create one column from two to be used in the lookup. So we're using Cozy Rock's Script Component Plus for this. And we have dragged it onto our canvas and we rename it Create CRCs for Commodities Reference Table. So we'll go in and configure it. We'll just click Yes here. We need to associate the script that we're going to use with this component. And we're using a script that's available on the Cozy Rock website. And it's called Checksum Transform and it's for SQL Server 2005 although it is available for all versions of SQL Server starting with 2005. And we cannot configure the inputs until we close the component. And now we connect the green arrow, feeding in the inputs. And we go in and configure it. Now you can see we are able to configure the input columns. And we're going to use date and commodity. And we're going to combine them using the checksum transform now we're going to create a dictionary or a mapping object to associate the checksum column that we just created with the price from the correct row in the commodities by date table. And we're going to be using another Cozy Rock script to do this. And we're using the script component plus again from Cozy Rock, and this time we're using it as a destination. And now we're going to associate a script with this component, and the name of the script is dictionary destination. And we have to close the component and now drag the green arrow into the component to feed in the input. And we're going to change the name on the component to save CRCs for commodities and dates. And now our input shows up and we can select checksum as the key column. And we select price, which is what we really want to get from this table, the reference table, as our value column. And now we have to go in and configure the variable where we're going to remember this mapping of the checksum, which is going to be used for our lookup, with the uh, price from the correct row. So we name this variable date commodity since it's a combination of the two. And we need to set the value type to object. And specifically, this is an iDictionary type of object. And we're done configuring this component. Now we set up another data flow task. And within this task, we will read the input source data 
and we'll perform the lookup using the CRC column. Now we're using the script plus component again, and this time we're going to be creating the checksum column from the date and commodity from the source data. And so we're going to rename the component to create CRCs for source table. And now we go into configure it. And we need to associate it with the appropriate script, which again in this case is the checksum transform. And now we close it and we drag the green arrow so that we have input coming in to the script. And we go back in to configure it. And now we set up the two columns, date and commodity, be, to be used to create a checksum column. I'll click OK. Now we'll go back in and just take a look at what got set up. And we go under the inputs and outputs. And here you can see that we have the commodity and date set up as the input columns, and we have checksum will be the name of the output column. And now we're ready to use Cozy Rock's Lookup Plus component. And to recap what we've done so far, first we created a checksum column from the commodity and date columns in the commodity prices table, which is one of our reference tables. And we saved this information in the iDictionary object so that we have the mapping between the checksum, which contains basically the commodity and date columns, to the price column. And then we read in the source data, and for each row of the source data we created a checksum column, again, from the commodity and date columns. So now we're going to perform a lookup using the checksum columns that we created. So the first thing we need to do is choose the checksum column as our input column. Our reference will come from the iDictionary object that we set up to be used as a variable here. And notice that in this case we do not use the key column or the value column because those are only used for a table-based lookup. And we type in the name of the result column and that's price. So now I fast forward to where I've already set up the other two columns that we're getting from the countries table, which are called tax rate and ID. And now we're ready to execute. And we have success. So we'll stop debugging. And we'll go take a look at our results in the lookup result table. And here you see the results of performing a lookup using two columns. I want to take a quick moment to show you where to find the scripts that I used in this demo and you scroll to the bottom of the Cozy Rock homepage and there you see the public repository and uh, just do a search for checksum to find the first script that we use, the checksum transform and there it is and then to find the one we used for the dictionary destination you can do a search for dictionary and there you see we have more than one script related to dictionary but here's the one that I used In this demonstration, I showed you how to perform a lookup that requires multiple columns to match in order to find the proper row using Cozy Rock's Script Plus and Lookup Plus components. These components come in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.